It's the cup final again. Can we do another League Cup double? Probably. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zagreb save. I am Cultured Left Foot and we have Rudez in the cup final. Um, hey Duke actually won it last time, not us. We got knocked out in the first round to someone. It was really disappointing. But this year, we're on for a League Cup double. Um... I've already picked the team. I know who I'm going to play. We're putting our strongest team out because I want to win it. I want to make sure we win it. So disappointed with the European um, knockout that, yeah, I want to make sure we go and win it. Losing on away legs. Unbelievable in, in, in uh, injury time. Oh, can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. Still, I'm not over it. But we've gone on a monumental run in the league. Unbeaten still. 2-0, 3-0, 3-0, 0-0. 7-1. 1-1 against Hayduk. 5-0 against Solin. 4-0 uh, against Rodez, who we now play in the cup. And 3-0 against Istra. So all in all, um, it's been a very, very, very comfortable season yet again. It's started a bit rocky, but towards the end, we've won it comfortably 12 points clear with like two games to go yeah champions hey duke have made the uh, the champions league uh european places still to be played for though mainly locomotiva could stop dynamo getting into the europa league which is really really weird actually to think that so yeah but let's get into the cup final today um there will be this is actually coming out late today because um i haven't had time to record and then there won't be any episode there won't be any videos on the channel tomorrow which is tuesday because i'm going out to watch this live singaporean game of football it's gonna be great it's gonna be great um Right, we have brought in a couple of people, actually. We brought in um, one of the Norwegian guys called Hakon Ring Strandberg. The other guy who had the better name, who which escapes me, was awful. This guy, on the other hand, is pretty good. Decent physicals, good mentals where he needs them, good technical plays, uh, player where he needs them. Very similar to Torres, not as aggressive, which is good. Um, and then Ian Allen decided to go and get Stip Burek on loan from Lille. I was like... Okay, he's pretty good. I don't think he's played for us yet. One. He's played one game for us. Um, but we'll have to keep an eye on him as well. But yeah, it's been uh, pretty good. It's been pretty pretty simple. Let's get into the game. Let's go and play the cup final. Um, and just a reminder, there will be no videos tomorrow on the channel because I'm not here. That's why there won't be any videos. Um, so we're playing Gonzalez in goal. Picard at right back because Bermudez is knackered and um, Milan is suspended. Veselinovic, Sergio and Tosic join him at the back. We have Torres in the holding midfield row. Antonio Thompson in the middle. Uh, Souza, Forde and Dia Giacomo. In good, interesting news, um, Ignacio Fernandez no longer wants to leave the club and he's been playing pretty damn well as well. So hopefully we can keep him around. But yeah, I'm open to selling him if needs be in the... Um, in the summer window, we'll have to wait and see. So we start with an early free kick. Thompson is saved, and then it's cleared by Spihar. Um, Rudez aren't the best team in the league. As I said, we recently beat them 4-0, so I am expecting us to have quite an easy, convincing win in this game. Um, I won't be doing the last two games of the season. There's no need. We've already won the league. It's not really a challenge anymore. The focus now of this save is entirely European football. Right, that is pretty much the whole entirety left of this save is to win the Champions League, and we're going to do everything in our power to do it. It's Picard is oh, what a what a ball from Picard squared it to Fode. That is a wonderful. T that's like a Man City s goal. That dear Giacomo laid it off. It was actually tackled. Sozo with a great peace of mind. The overlapping run from Picard wasn't tracked, and then just fires it across the goal. Fode is there to stick it in, and that is off the training ground, and that is beautiful. So, 1-0 up uh, within 20 minutes. Are Rudez going to get back into this? I highly doubt they are. But, yeah, I mean, I, I just, uh, I'm craving. If we don't win the Champions League with Zagreb before FM 2020 comes out, I'm going to be so pissed off. So annoyed. We're building such a good foundation here to do it. Like... Sosa and Foray don't want to leave. They're both wonder kids. We've still got Thompson. He doesn't want to leave. We've got Fernandez who now wants to stay. Dia Giacomo has been banging in the goals. He's on something like 26 for the season. As uh, Sergio picks out Foray's there. Shoots, just couldn't get enough bend on it. We've been unbelievably good this season. Um, once we got a tactic, you know, the first start of the season, once we tweaked the tactic and got it playing how we wanted to play, we were un we've been unbelievable. And 
you know, we went we went out of the Champions League by beating Bayern Leverkusen 3-1, which is so annoying. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. Um, that Just that one away goal they scored put them through in injury time. Or extra time even, not even injury time. Extra time, very annoying. It's Fode into Torres. Souza, oh, he's tackled and it's a throw. But, um, yeah, I just think, you know, we could possibly go out. We, The board aren't giving us a large transfer fee, the transfer fund. They're giving us around about £7 million every season now. And I think uh, we need more to go and get, like, that world. I think we are, like, one world-class centre-back away from having an amazing, amazing team that will help us challenge for the Champions League. Because... Midfield is incredible. Wingers are incredible. Striker, pretty damn good in Dia Giacomo. Not playing the best today, but he is pretty damn good. Fullbacks are amazing in Milan and Tosic. Gonzalez is one of the best goalkeepers for his age in the game. And it's just the centre-backs. And I think I've either got to go and lob 7 million at like a 30-year-old centre-back that can do a job for us for two seasons and hope we win the Champions League in those two seasons. Or, you know, invest in a youngster... Wonder Kid sort of one a Wonder Kid description description from the media centre back that hope and hope he pro progresses and, and improves and comes through the team and propels us the Champions League glory. So I don't know. I just don't. Let me know down below. Do you reckon I should just spunk all of the transfer budget we've got on? Oh, they've hit the bar on on a, on a centre back. Centre back is the one position I really want to buy. It's the one position I really think we the or the only position I think we really need to improve. Maybe maybe a holding midfielder that's better than Torres, but again, he's doing a f perfectly good job minus all the red cards. And I think yeah, we <sighs> centre back is the standout position for me that I think we need. But I am interested to see what you guys say uh, and all you guys that are watching it. You you just got to let me know because well, all the patrons are part of my backroom staff, so I'd be foolish if I didn't listen to you. So, I mean, you know, Ken Wynn wanted a trip to Fiji to go and scout out there, and we did it, and he's found nobody, but I'm sure he's having a great time. Uh, Antonio makes it 2-0, his third goal of the season. Good work from the forwards to win that ball back uh, high up the pitch. Here, we'll put good pressure on him. Brelich in, Guran, Guran put him under pressure, and look at her, he just couldn't handle it. Good tackle from Guarana. Uh, Antonio picked it up, and when he's in the box from there, on his left foot, he is not going to miss. They had someone on a 4.6. That guy that just got tackled ended the game on a 4.6 before getting sent off, uh, before getting subbed off. 4.6 is absolutely atrocious. Um, we've beaten teams like the team we beat 7-1. Their goalkeeper didn't even get a 4.6. So, yeah, that's that's really bad. Um, coming up to about 10 minutes to go. Uh, let's bring Strandberg on so you guys can see him live. We'll bring Loder on for four day as well. I know he got a goal, but I like Loder. He's a very good backup winger to have. Can play on either wing. Um, yeah, the team's really good. The team is really good, um, and we've you know we've competed with much bigger teams than us: the Juventus and Bayer Leverkusen, Munich, Arsenal. We're we're, we're competing against those teams. We're just I think, yeah. We need a little bit of luck. We do need a little bit of luck in the Champions League. You don't win the Champions League without luck. So we do need a little bit of luck. And just, I don't know, maybe a one world-class player that we've got. Sosa's in. That's that's 3-0. I mean, look how easy we rip teams apart in Croatia. That's just, yeah, absolutely brilliant. The football we play as well is absolutely incredible. As loaded, look at that. Just sprints past defenders into Sosa. Great, great touch to go around the defender. Keeper should do better. But it's 3-0, and that is game, set, match. I'll give them a quick little bit of praise before the full-time whistle, um, which fires them up, which is a strange reaction, I think, to someone saying, well done. But we'll have to go with it. So, uh, obviously, the Premier League season has finished now as well. So, that was, a, that was a very entertaining final day, especially if you're a Crystal Palace fan um, with a 5-3 win. Oh, Guarana hits the bar. A 5-3 win, I think it was, over Bournemouth, which was absolutely incredible. But yeah, like uh, just going back to this save, uh, I don't. I hope it gets across in the videos. But I am so desperate to win the Champions League with NK Zagreb. But like, this has been one of my favourite saves I've ever had on Football Manager because of where we started and what we've come through, and and everything like that. And I just, uh, yeah, if we do, if we don't win the Champions League by the time FM Twenty Twenty comes out, I am going to be so upset. Like, I'm going to be. Devastated as uh, we get a good double. Ian Allen, well done, four grand for for that. Um, Bektasi Hales, true legend, cultured left foot. Thank you, thank you, Bektasi. Well, the border happy. Rodrigo's out of the Copper America. 
Souza on form and a good win. Uh, Marcelino is there. And the runners-up was Rudez. Biggest overachievers was Rudez. Well done. We beat the biggest overachiever. Um, we'll have a quick review of, of the squad just to show you like goal scorers and stuff like that. Um, so, DJ Comer, 28 goals this season. Seven assists. He's been ridiculously good. He's only 26 as well. Fode and Mark Thompson on 16 apiece as well. Souza on 13. Loder on 8. Tesla on 4. Grana on 3. Antonio on three, Tosic on two, Cabrera on two, Simeonovic on two, and everybody else on one, apart from all these people that haven't really played. Although Benkovic has played 26 games, Torres has played 32, and neither of them have scored. So hopefully we'll change that in the final two games of the season. They can go on penalties or something to try and get them a goal. But yeah, I mean, we're just playing so well. We spread the assists out quite a lot, which is good. Mark Thompson didn't make the England squad, and the newspapers went mental. They're like, I can't believe he hasn't been called up into the England squad for it. His form deserves it. He's brilliant. Get him in. Look, he's interested in Man United and Liverpool. Um, I think, is he still got his... No, I'm asking for 30 million. I doubt anyone will pay that. But if they do, then I'm definitely going to reinvest it. So, yeah. I mean... 9.25 million we bought for. He's been ridiculously good for us. He's been absolutely incredible. We're just really, really good. Average rate. Mark Thompson's up there. Tosic, Di Giacomo, Sergio's up there, which is good. According that he's a new signing. Glad that he's settled in really well. But yeah, goals per 90 minutes. Every 0.89. Hang on, goals per 90. So he's scoring nearly a goal a game. Yeah, 28 goals in 34, 30 appearances. He's, yeah, incredible. Chances created per 90. Tesla's at the top of that, 9.52. Percent of headers, 1. Sebastian Rojas, 93. Benkovic, 83. Tackle ratio, 1. 100% for um, a few people. Who's actually here? So 16. 100%. Tesla has won 100% of his tackles. That's incredible. Have we got Defender? There's actually one. Torres... It was one ninety four percent of his tackles. I guess the tackles he didn't win are the ones he got sent off with. That's probably what I'd go with in that. Uh, Vesla Novic ninety one percent of his tackles incredible. In, uh, interceptions per ninety two and a half interceptions a game. Leon Drevin makes after two appearances. Sergio's up there two point three. Uh, Veselovic two point one seven. So you can see we're doing so well, and we've only had two mistakes that have led to goals. One from a centre back and one from the goalkeeper. So we're just really really good. We're really good. Like really good I just hope next year I think because in my mind like we've been playing this save for quite a while now coming up to 20 no when does it start 2018 so 2028 so 14 years we've been in this save and I sort of feel like we should be pushing towards the semi-finals of the Champions League by now but I don't know I guess that we have got to the quarters didn't we we get to we went to the quarter finals last season and lost to Barcelona quite convincingly but I don't know am I being too over am I being too optimistic thinking that we should be in like the semi-finals of the Champions League or being at least quarter-finals a bit more regularly I don't know let me know let me know down below but yeah the board let's see transfer budget 7 million they're not going all out with the money they're not going all out which is annoying because we've got 21 million in the bank so the problem we've got obviously is that our TV deal isn't brilliant and that's what gets you all the money in the Premier League in, in England is the TV deal and we just haven't got that so yeah we really need that to sort of improve we are sitting eighth how's our um uh where am I going how's our Europe coefficient doing uh qualificate coefficients nation club coefficient so we are in eighth we scored 34 this year next year 37 yes yeah, so if we still can't break into that position above us we're, dead, we're securing our position above Holland. We're securing eighth, but we just can't break in above Austria. And that's really, really annoying. Because they've only got Red Bull Salzburg, I imagine, that do well in Europe. So, yeah, that's annoying. In fact, how did our teams do in Europe this year? Let's go and have a look. Um, hey, Duke, how did you do? Uh, you got to the first knockout round and lost to Real Sociedad, because I haven't put the real name fix in. Uh, Osiek, were you in Europe last year? Uh, no, you weren't. So you've done quite well to qualify this year for it. Rijeka. Uh, in the group stage, you got knocked out behind PSV, Olympic Lyonnais, and Michelin. Okay, so you came third. That's not too bad. That's that's not too bad. Uh, Dynamo, I think you were in it. Yeah, group stage, knockout rounds. Oh, you actually got through to the second knockout round and then lost to Genk. I mean, that's what I mean. Come on, you should be beating Genk. 
Really should be beating Genk. That gets you through to the quarterfinals of that. That's such an easy draw. Unbelievably shit. Uh, Locomotiva, were you in it last time? Yeah, you didn't qualify for the group stage. So, okay, so a few teams did pretty well in Europe. So hopefully that gets the reputation up a bit more. But we are going to leave it there. It's a little short episode today. Um, as I said, I'm, it's coming out later because I'm in a bit of a rush this evening. Uh, I'm actually recording this after the time I normally release the video. That's how uh, busy and stuff it's been. So, But thank you so much for watching. A little reminder, there's no video tomorrow on Tuesday. But there will be back to normal, hopefully, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hopefully. Uh, there is a Provo video scheduled for tonight and Wednesday as well. And then hopefully I'll get another one of them down on Friday. And I'm going to... I say this a lot, but I will be doing like a little channel review and what's in store for the future sometime soon when I get some time. Um, because I've got a few things I want to talk about on the channel, which will be good. But um, thank you so much for watching. As per usual at the end of these videos, I've started to ramble. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.